What's up you guys? My name's Cody Reed. Welcome to the channel. I uh, got a big announcement today. I just bought another new car. Can you believe it? I got another new car. Uh, but before I can show it to you, we need to get some gas. If you didn't know, there's a gas shortage. Uh, even in Florida, like no rules apply to Florida. There's no pandemic in Florida. Uh, there shouldn't be a gas shortage in Florida, but there is. So I need to go out and find some fuel, find some gas. This is not a diesel. I gotta go find some, gotta go find some gas. And then we're gonna get it started. I'm gonna share with you guys my brand new purchase, my brand new ride. You've already got a glimpse. Do you know what it is? Like, if I saw these seats right now, and I was just watching the beginning of this video, I feel like I could call it. Like, I, I, just being a car dude, like being around cars, I feel like I can call it. Can you? Tell me in the comments below. Like, hit the pause button. Tell me what you think the car is right now. That'd be pretty freaking sweet. Uh, in other words, uh, we're gonna go try to find some gas, and then we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna show you all the goody goods about this new ride. Grandma's ride. Little grandma's ride. Let's get it. Let's go. All right, y'all. I think I'm finally ready to show you guys my new vehicle purchase. We're all gassed up. We're all ready to go. I'm giving you a hint right now. So um, without further ado, let me introduce you to my new vehicle. You guys are probably wondering like why in the crap did I buy this turd box, this absolutely old Chevrolet Cobalt. I bought it for two reasons. One, because it was super cheap. I bought this thing for uh, less than 800 bucks from, uh, it was obviously, it was a grandma's car, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but secondly, most importantly, um, I bought it for a commuter car and I bought it because the price of vehicles right now is absolutely insane. Like used car prices are the highest that, they, that I've ever personally seen it. And really the only thing that I use my car for is just a simple little, I shouldn't say simple, but a long commute. Um, I drive roughly 40, 45 miles per day. Um, so I needed something that was gonna be able to withstand uh, the tough, Florida uh, roadways, right? I mean, our roads are down here are just insane. They're terrible. There's trucks and like tons of cars and just my car, my, my Subaru was getting beat up and it was getting hammered. And uh, my wife's vehicle, her car was due to go back from a lease. So I'm gonna talk about all that stuff in another video, but more so today, I just wanted to share with you guys my, my new to me, my brand new, new to me. Chevrolet Cobalt. It's a little rough, you know what I'm saying? So let's take a closer look at it. The biggest thing that stands out about this vehicle is the exterior, man. Old Man Summer has done its terms, done its toll on this Chevrolet Cobalt. The paint is pretty much non-existent. There isn't any paint anymore. A um, couple of spots, uh, but it's never really been, I mean, not that I know of, it doesn't. It hasn't really been in an accident. It's just old, uh, faded paint from the Florida Suns, and I don't plan on putting any additional money into this car. If it uh, if it dies tomorrow, I'll just replace it. It's kind of like a, uh, what do they call it, a throwaway car. Uh, so, you know, if I can get, if I can get like six or eight months out of it, man, it'll be worth it uh, till we find another new vehicle. But more so, the reason why I got it was the interior. The lady, I don't think, I don't think she ever sat in, in the vehicle. It's a little dirty right now. I just threw everything in it. Um, but dude, like the seats are brand new. Like, I don't know how the exterior could look so bad and then the interior looks so good, but that's the case. The very first thing I did whenever I bought it was I got it the windows tinted just because it's super hot. Um, but dude, interior wise, they say like you only see your car off from the inside. You don't ever see your car from the outside. And um, and this thing, this thing is like super nice. Like the leather, Leather looks like, take me back to 2006, baby. Like this is 2006 leather. It's not, it's not really cracked or faded or anything. I guess there's a little, 
little crack down there, but it looks pretty good, y'all. Like the interior on this thing is good. That's the good. There's some bad. There's definitely some bad, but that is definitely the good. I'm gonna give you guys a startup real quick, just because you know why not? Why not with the startup? Um, I got I got my Ryan Scott, uh, my Pure Function Ice Cold Keystone. That's my uh, that's my tag for this. But ready? Ooh wee! Hundred and it's got like 137,000 miles on this bad mamma jamma, you know what I'm saying? We've got an ABS light on, which uh, again, we're gonna talk about some of the things that are wrong with this vehicle. But we're getting 31 and a half miles to the gallon, and that just makes me excited. 31 and a half miles to the gallon. Uh, yeah, 137,000 miles, y'all. This thing is ready to rock and roll, let's go. Don't laugh at me. We're gonna talk a little bit more on the channel about the Cobalt. It's not gonna be the focus, you know what I'm saying? It's not gonna be the focus. Uh, but I'm just super pumped to uh, go back to 2006 and just relive the Chevrolet era a little bit. You know what I'm saying, man? We, man, like, I, I don't know about like the rest of the country, but in South Carolina, when I was selling vehicles, the Chevrolet Cobalt was like the flagship car, dude. I sold so many of these cars, so. Uh, when grandma, not my grandma, but when the grandma said, hey, I'm ready to get rid of this thing, I got me a new Chevy Cruze, I was like, in, I'll buy it, it's mine, I wanna trade, I wanna, I, wanna, I wanna hit all the freeways with the old Ecotech 2.2 liter Chevy, you know what I'm saying, non-turbo, let's go. Um, yeah, dude, got gas prices going up, 31 and a half miles a gallon, Florida highways are terrible, I just need something to beat around in, this is my beater, man, and I'm so happy to have it. I just hope it lasts a little while. I done put $200 window tint on it, so, um, I'm up to a thousand bucks plus registration fees. It's kind of lost a little while for me to, uh, to get, to get the worth out of the Chevrolet Cobalt, if you know what I'm saying. So, I'm happy to be back. It's been a little while since I made some videos, and, um, that's like between me and you guys like it's been a little bit of a struggle because I'm doing so much stuff for some so many other people that I'm kind of spread thin and like I haven't really had a ton of content I'm not you know I don't want to just throw some um, throw some detailing videos up of me at the car wash because clearly mr. David doesn't like it you know what I'm saying so I've been really selective and um, I do plan on dropping some editing stuff on the channel at some point too but for the most part man we're Chevy at heart like we are we are true 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 to the blue you know what I'm saying true to the Chevy so um, I appreciate you guys being here thank you guys so much for checking out my new to me Chevrolet Cobalt we're pumped we're hammered we're jacked up and uh, I'm, I, I, I gotta do a video with all the issues because there's there's some issues that are gonna need to be addressed at some point it's just a matter of if I'm gonna fix them or not. If I'm not gonna fix them, there's really no sense in talking about them. Uh, but if I plan on driving this thing for a little ways, we gotta, we gotta break it in, make sure it's not gonna fall apart on me. Um, but if I plan on driving it for a little while, well, then we're gonna have to get some things addressed. It's gonna get nasty. It's gonna get hot, if you know what I'm saying. We'll talk about it in a little, we'll talk about it in a little way. Um, but for now, but for now, man, just hit the subscribe button, hit the like button again. Thank you so much. My name is Cody Reed. I did say every single week I would give you guys new content. I, I, I'm not gonna hold myself to that right now, uh, but every every little support um, definitely helps. Love you guys. Peace. <laughs> Bye.